What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 16 beta back to iOS 15.5 on your device using a program called Tenorshare Reboot, which is this one over here, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Many of you probably tried iOS 16 beta because it has a lot of features and a new lock screen and stuff like that, but if you want to go back to a stable version like iOS 15.5, you can use Tenorshare Reboot for that, which is compatible with all devices. Says. You can find it in here on Tenorshare.com, it's called Tenorshare Reboot, there is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS, and you can also put your device into recovery mode, repair a broken iOS device if it's no longer booting, for example it's stuck in a boot loop and stuff like that. You can downgrade iOS versions, and this is the feature we're going to use today, but you can also reset the device. So for downgrade purposes you would go here to downgrade iOS, it's this little text over here, and if you're going from iOS 16 back to 15, you're going to go with a deep downgrade because this one supports going from a major version to another but it will erase all the data so before we do that it's best to go in iTunes and create a backup of all your data or if you're using iCloud use that to do a backup because downgrading will remove all the data on your device once you have the backup you press deep downgrade over here and it's going to show the information about your device I'm gonna go with refreshing here and it says firmware version number 15.5 is ready for download because yes this is basically the version that we can go to and is in here iOS 16 so right now I'm running 16.0 all right so to begin going from iOS 16.0 beta back to 15.5 all we have to do is to download the firmware first now the application will do that for us so all you have to do is to not disconnect the device. I'm going to press download in here and it's going to start downloading the firmware for my device. My device being the iPhone XS Max over here. So this download might take a while so I'm going to be right back once it completes downloading. So as you can see the iOS firmware has been downloaded and we can just press start the downgrade right now. And it says in here you're about to perform cross version downgrade which will erase all the data on your device. Please confirm whether to continue downgrade. We press continue here and as you can see it says deep downgrading. And it says is verifying over here. It's going to verify the firmware to ensure that it's not corrupted before downgrading it, but after that it's going to start installing the iOS 15.5 on this device. So as you can see here the verification is going on pretty fine, and once this is complete and the downgrade will begin, it's going to actually restart the device. You may see the Apple logo and a progress bar, but that's perfectly normal. Just wait for your device to boot back to the hello screen and do not do anything. Do not disconnect your device and stuff like that. So at this point we just have to wait for the downgrade to complete. You can see here it's basically unpacking the firmware, the different components of the firmware, and it's verifying the unpacked firmware, and after that it will begin installing the firmware. Alright, so as you can see it says downgrading the device, please wait, and the estimated time is about 10 minutes. Yes, this will take a while, so definitely be patient. I'm gonna be right back once it completes. Alright, so as you can see in here it says downgrade completed, please enter your lock screen passcode after the device restarts, but in my case there's not going to be any passcode because we basically restored the device completely. Alright, so the device has now powered on, and if we go here to settings and we go to general and software update, we're going to see that we're running 15.5 and it says it's up to date, so no more iOS 16 beta. So yeah, that's how you downgrade using Tenorshare Reboot from iOS 16 beta all the way down to 15.5. So yeah, you can now restore your iCloud backups and get all your data back, for example, your photos and contacts and so on from iCloud if you backed them up before doing this. The iTunes backups will not work unless you modify them with a program and change the iOS 16 compatibility to iOS 15, but I do not recommend that because some data will get corrupted. iOS 16 data may not be 100% compatible with iOS 15, so if you want to backup your data, I would advise you to use iCloud. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, check the program out in the link below and peace out.